What up, folks? This is the Savage Scientist Ed, the damn governor of the state of Swampland. Today I'm about to talk to y'all about this. This stupid email from PayPal. Phishing email. If you don't know what phishing is, that's a that's a social engineering attack that hackers trying to get your information, they're trying to get your password. So I'm about to show you how to identify this damn email. So as you can see, at 6.54 in the morning, I got this bullshit from PayPal. For one thing, you should spot this email as being suspicious because PayPal or no other business will put emojis in the title of an important uh, letter like this, an important transaction. You will not see this, cherries, hashtags, a message, this mail looking emoji, you won't see that in any professional correspondent. So when you look at this email, PayPal is looking for you. It has the original PayPal down. Let me get this bullshit out the way. It has the original PayPal logo right here. And it also looked like an authentic PayPal message. But when you scroll down to the bottom, after reading this crap that they wrote, they're trying to say that they want you to log into your account so you can have full access to your account. But on the bottom, this help and contact information and this security and all this stuff, this stuff doesn't work. None of this stuff down here works. That's, in, that's one way to spot phishing emails. So let's click on this login now. I'm going to open this in the incognito window because I don't want this thing to put a virus on my computer, which you really should be doing. If you want to experiment with this, open this in a, you should open this in a damn, in a virtual machine. But since I already opened it up, I know what it's going to do. I'm going to go and open it anyway, because I'm a savage like that. Don't try this at home. So you click right here where it says, visit the unsafe site. That part right there, visit the unsafe site. So, here it is, deceptive site. I know it's deceptive, but I'm going to continue on. So let's go to it and roll with it. Visit the unsafe site. So eventually, you're going to get presented with this, this, this really unsafe site. Check it out. It has your phone number, that's the information they're going to capture, and your password information they're going to capture. Let's see if this if this code generator actually works. The code generator it works, but I'm I'm assuming that they probably already randomized a couple of images right here. So when you click this, it'll just show something different. It don't matter what it show. So when you click this login, it doesn't show where this is gonna take you. But I'm pretty sure that this is this is this this is a web server somebody got running somewhere to steal your information. And when you click on the bottom, see this contact us? It takes it takes you to this site, this check out the stuff down. This crap on the bottom. It it doesn't take you to PayPal. Privacy, same thing. Legal, same thing. I wonder how did they <laughs> I wonder when they was writing this part that say legal. Did they think, damn, this is this is bo a bogus fake pay PayPal website. And we're gonna put legal on the bottom of it. Worldwide, same bullshit. This looks just like an authentic PayPal correspondent email. But none of this stuff up here say anything about PayPal in the address box. So that should let you know that this is fake shit. So I'm about to close out my incogni incognito window. And let's take a look at some real, a real PayPal email now. So I'm going to hit back. And I have a PayPal email right here. As you can see, all this stuff is up here. And you have the PayPal logo. You have, you have, but you have stuff that actually works. Like this go to case details, that actually works. All this stuff, but on the bottom, this help and contact information should take you to this page. And those fishers or those, the people who generated that phishing email should have made it go to the authentic PayPal website because that's what most phishing attacks do. They will give you 
They would actually time out after you put your password in three times. I'm about to fish your password first time. I'm capturing it. Then I say error. Second time, I would capture it to compare the first and the second time. And then the third time, if it's wrong, then I just shoot you on over to the real PayPal authentication page. That's normally how a hacker would steal your information. So it's time for you, the user, to be more sophisticated so these bastards won't get your information like this. This is not, this is, this is normal phishing, a normal phishing attempt, but it's up to you as the, as the owner of the PayPal account or the user of the computer system to know how to spot this stuff. Because whenever they take your information, who you gonna go call? Oh, so when they take your information, what you gonna do? Gonna sit there looking like a damn fool because they done took your shit. So consider yourself warned. This is the savage scientist Ed, the governor of the damn state of Swampland. Peace out.